Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we're going to compare two populations. Basically, my populations are two basketball teams. And we're studying the heights of those basketball players. Team 1, their heights are here in inches. And team 2, their heights are here in inches. And we're going to compare these two teams. Now, since the heights are in order, you can already see that the players in this team are indeed taller, right? But to make sure, we want to use some statistical measures. Basically, one measure of central tendency, which is here, the mean or the average, and then a measure of variability, how much has the data spread out. And that's this MAD, M-A-D, comes from mean absolute deviation. It tells us how much, on average, these values differ from the mean. So, on average, these heights differ from this number by 3 inches. Okay, and here similarly, because this is very similar, about 3 inches as far as the mean absolute deviation. And from the means, we can see, okay, this is a much higher mean, 79.2 inches versus 74.5 inches. And now, we're going to make a histogram for both teams, for both data sets, and then compare them visually also. Here, for the histogram, we need these called bins. We need to categorize the data. We cannot just draw a bar for each number, like 68 here and a bar up, 69 here and a bar up. No. We want to categorize these, and I made these kind of bins, and now we just count how many are between 67 and 69 in team 1. Okay, that's zero, and then zero also for the next one. Here. 73 to 75, we have two. 76 to 78, that's just one. And then 79 to 81, six, and then three. And then for team two, 67 to 69, there's two. 70 to 72, two. 73 to 75, four. Then 76 to 78 is three, and then two and zero. Okay, and now we are ready to draw the histograms. Here, let's put team one. And then team two. And notice how I made these bins here identical here on the horizontal axis so that we can compare the distributions once we have the histograms. So, team one, that's zero, zero, then over here, two. I'm just going to rough sketch this to save time and not use a ruler. like that. We can see that there are a lot of tall players in Team 1. You see here's the peak. And also the mean, it was 79. The mean is in this bin, 79 to 81. Okay, and then this one, 2 and 2 and 4. There. Now here we see the peak is about here. The central tendency mean was 74.5, which is in this bin. So visually, it is easy to see that, yes, the peak is further along here. The players are taller in this team than, than in this team. Now let's look at the variability just a little bit here. 3 and 3. 3.2 and 3 are very similar, close, close numbers. So the data values or the variability is similar in both teams. What this means is that the range, 68 to 80, the range, 73 to 84, is similar. And also how the player heights are spread out within the range is, is sort of similar in both data sets, as shown by these two numbers being close together. One more thing that we're going to just notice real quick is the difference between the means here is 4.7 inches. But, um, okay, 
since you know about people's height, you can tell that this, is, this looks like a significant difference in the mean heights. But what if you didn't know much about basketball or people's heights? What if you just had a bunch of numbers about some situation? How can we know that this much difference between two averages is significant difference? What if the difference between two means, let's say we had two other data sets and the means were 74 and 75 and a half. Or let's say that the means were 73 and 73 and a half. How can we tell if these differences in the mean heights between two groups are significant differences? The answer lies in the measure of variability. We will check with this. We check the difference here. The difference between the means here is 1.5. Here it would be 0 0.5. Here it was 4.7. And we compare how many times is this number the measure of variability. For example here, this is exactly half the measure of variability. And that, that constitutes a medium significance. Okay? So there is a significant difference here of medium size. Now this one, not so much. This one is only a fraction of the measure of variability, so there is no significant difference between these two means. And here, this is more than one times the measure of variability, about one and a half times that. So yes, there is a big significant difference between the means of the two groups. Okay, we're all done with this video and I hope it was helpful.